for the pretty sweet, huh? Brand new? Yes. See what's on there? Name? So how many years have you been competing in CrossFit? I started competing in 2011 was my first year of competition. So that would make it eight years. And how, out, of, out of those eight years, uh, how many CrossFit games have you qualified for? Six. Thanks for rubbing it in, man. <laughs> so what happened those other two years? Uh, yeah, so in, in 12, I was injured. That was when I had a uh, pretty bad knee injury. Dislocated my knee, tore almost every ligament in my left knee. Um, ACL, PCL, MCL, meniscus were all torn. So that year was basically the same year as this year. Basically just a re rebuilding year. So one of the things I'm more proud of is actually making it back to the game to 13. You know, under a year out of complete knee shirt, like completely reconstructed knee almost. 15, I got complacent, you know? You know what they say, complacency kills. So, allowed myself to think that I was good enough. I wasn't paying the man, that's for sure. So then I started to pay the man. 2016 was pretty badass. 2016 was fun. Didn't end up, you know, the, year, the, the games didn't end up the way I wanted it to that year, but you know, it is what it is, all learning lesson, right? We, Learn and grow. So yeah, yeah, man, I've been uh, been around for a while. One of the big questions I always get asked is like, why do I think I have been able to hang around for as long as I have? And you know, I think I, when you love something so much, like I would do this even if it wasn't, if, even if there wasn't a games, even if there wasn't sponsorships involved or, or money involved. Like I love CrossFit. I love coming out into the gym every single day and trying to find my limits, my limitations, you know, and like, and then trying to go past them. And if not, you know, fixing what I could have done differently to help myself get to where I wanted to be. So, um, I also love coming out here and showing the boys that, my kids, that, you know, if you want something bad enough in life, if you work hard enough for it, like, no one can stop you. The only person that can is yourself, but not putting in the work. So yeah, I mean, and then, and then just trying to take care of myself as well with recovery, being open-minded to any means necessary and figuring out how I could how I could keep my body in primed and, and recovered well so that I could come back and compete again and again and again. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of things I think that have attributed to me being able to come back to the games year after year. But, you know, having that passion and, and loving it and like that's been my main huge drive is just I just love it. I love coming out here. I love working out I love coming out into the garage and, and doing it. even if there's no one here. And it's just me Like some of those are my some of those days are my favorite days I mean obviously getting to work out with other people is really fun, too, but this This just getting out here and gosh man just being in my own head and being with my own thoughts and Just learning to love the pain and enjoying it like I think that's one of the main reasons why I've been able to hang around for as long as I have. So yeah, find your passion. My passion is passion! <laughs> There's this ult <laughs> That's a quote from the Ultimate Warrior. If you don't know who the Ultimate Warrior is, you need to go find, find out. <clears throat> First workout of the day is Brock. Um, I got sent this workout from a dad who his son is uh, having some medical issues and uh, they decided to make a workout for him, dedicated to him. So we're doing that this morning, it's called Brock. 
So it's 100 calorie row, 100 calorie ski, and 100 calorie uh, assault bike. And every two minutes, not including zero, not including zero, you do seven burpees. So, so basically, it's a chipper style through the, to the three, three death machines here. Um, but every two minutes, you gotta get off and do your seven burpees. So it should be fun. And every, whenever you're doing a workout for someone or something, it's always easier to push, right? It's not for yourself, it's for someone else. So never wanna let them down, never wanna, you know, start feeling sorry for yourself because obviously now we're doing it because Brock's going through some hard times. So we're gonna go through some hard times for Brock, help motivate him, lift him up. It'll be fun. What do you think it's gonna take you? I don't know, man. We'll see. It's gonna be fun. So, I'm gonna guess 100 calories of each. So 100 calories here, you gotta think roughly like about five minutes. Like, by themselves without the burpees is like five minutes each. So that's, that's 15 minutes. Then you get that in burpees. So, if you go sub 20, you're moving, right? You're moving. So we'll see. We will see. Time to party. Chalk up just because I like to party. Step 20. Woo. Woo. There you go, Brock. Keep staying strong, buddy. Stay in the fight. Brock's uh, his disease. He needs a bone marrow transplant. I think they found a match for him, so he's a five-year-old son. Father reached out to me. So happy to Put in, put in a little work from a man, Brock. Stay tough, bro. We'll be praying for you. You'll be in our thoughts, man. Woo! Anybody else out there watching it, watching this, go put out for Brock. He's a little man, man. Every time I see something like that, all I am is I just become so thankful. You know, I have healthy kids, so. That was easy compared to what that little man's gotta go through. So, stay in the fight, Brock. We'll be rooting for you, buddy. Whew. Steaming out here. Yeah. So earlier you talked about, you know, you enjoy coming out here, 
to find your limits. Yeah. Do you think part of that stems from you, you know, your time as a Navy SEAL? Oh, for sure, man. Uh, you know, and, and the teams, again, it's always easier when you have a purpose, when you have a drive, when you have a passion, right, for something. It's actually the reason I, I guess, I don't know if I've said it in our videos or not, but like, you know, I started doing CrossFit to train, to be, to go into the military, to prepare myself for my life in the, in the teams. And man, like, CrossFit's a great because it helps, it helps with that men mentality, right? To, like, you know that every day you get up and you go into the gym, like, you're making a decision, right? You're making a conscious decision knowing what type of workout you're about to do. Whatever the workout is, right? Be it CrossFit, you know it's gonna be painful either way, no matter what, because it's always for time, it's always for amount of reps. It's always you pushing to those limitations every day. That right there in itself creates a mindset where like if you do this, this is your first part of your day, like gosh, man, the rest of the day has got to look like cakewalk, right? No matter what it is, your life is like, even being a SEAL, you know, it's like we had some really tough days, but it didn't become like, am I going to do this? Will I be good enough? It's like, yeah, let's go do this, right? When you consciously start to make those decisions that are tough over and over again, they don't become decisions. They just become second nature. It's like breathing, it's just habit. And I think that just starts to bleed into the rest of your life, right, and all your other decisions, so. Yeah, obviously being a Navy, I think all of my life adventures have kind of helped one another. You know, being a, reg, being a collegiate wrestler, you know, starting CrossFit, being a Navy SEAL, being a father, you know, like it's, they all work hand in hand, creating a mindset that I'm never gonna go the easy route. I'm always gonna take the harder route because like the saying goes, nothing in this life that's worth doing is easy. So yeah, I think that it all, all helped each other. They all like came together nicely. I just saw this, so this is West Side Barbell, Louis Simmons. So it's a speed bench that I want to try. So it's 16 sets of three reps. You do three reps every 30 seconds. They have to be fast reps, they can't be slow. Every fourth set you take a minute rest. So it should take around like eight minutes-ish to get those 16 sets in. Um, you do two sets, 15 dumbbell, then lighter. I might try to actually make it an incline. I might do the same thing with the back squats, actually. I might go 16 sets, three, speed every three seconds. I'll do the same thing with the back squats and go right into the bench. Little pump. So, yeah. Let's give it a shot. Pop it real! 
There we go. Got a little strength in. Just like that. Question I get hit a lot with is, you know, dividing your time up, finding the time to get in here with all the, I talked about it a little bit last episode or a couple episodes ago, but man, like, it's not finding the time, right? It's making the excuse to get in the gym. What are excuses to go to the gym instead of your excuses not to go? That's the one thing that I've always gone back to. It's like, why should I get in the gym? Man, just make it a priority and get after it, right? Stop making excuses, stop being like, Oh, I don't have the time. Oh, I have kids. Oh, I'm tired. I had to work all day. Guess what everyone does? You know, if you want to do this, if you want to be better yourself, if you want to become better at, you know, at life, be healthier for your kids, you know, find those excuses exactly. Like, well, I got 15 minutes. I can go do 10 rounds of five, 10, five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, 15 air squats. Well, I got 20 minutes. I can go in and get a, get a good workout on a bike. Well, I can go get a good workout on a row, you know, whatever. That's what, it, that's what you want to do, right? But find those excuses to go to the gym, right? Stop finding the excuses not to. And that'll be a huge step in, in helping, you know, get out of that mindset like, oh, I'm just too tired. I don't, I don't have the time. I, you know, it's just, there's just not enough hours in the day. There are plenty of hours in the day, right? So find your time. Make, it, make an excuse to go to the gym. Oh, I can't go drink tonight. I got to work out. Oh, I can't go out to dinner. Tonight, I gotta work out. Uh, I can't, uh, you know, sit here on the couch for 20 minutes and watch TV because I gotta work out. Do that, easy day. Next workout is 40 dumbbell snatches with an 85 pound dumbbell, alternating arms, uh, and then 20 bar muscle ups, and then come on back and finish with another 40 dumbbell snatches. This will be fun. I don't know why I decided to do this. Dumbbell snatches don't hurt anything, and I gotta make up for that last video with my bar muscle ups. See if I can keep the chicken wing out of here. But I doubt it, I'm sure he'll, I'm sure he'll rear his ugly face back up in this workout. Um, but bar muscle ups, I've always had that, that issue where I chicken wing, so I'm trying to get that out of there. Something to work on, right? Some, one thing to work on. Easy day. There it is. Part time. That was good stuff right there. It's a good chat test. I was stoked to get the muscle ups unbroken. To be honest, I didn't think that was gonna be how I was gonna do it. 
I super surprised myself. So, there you go. Don't be afraid to surprise yourself. How good you'll do something. It was good, man. Paid the man. Now I get to go hang out with my boys the rest of the day. Do something fun. And I don't have to worry about how am I gonna find time to work out? Am I gonna find time? What's my excuse gonna be not to get back in the gym? You know? Got up, got in here, made my excuse to get in the gym. Found my excuses to prioritize this over being lazy on a Saturday and not doing what I know I need to do. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe, the thing. Do that thing, you know? And don't forget to pay the man.